Joining us today for Primetime Local News is Wyatt with the Edmonton Police Service Recruiting Unit. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today, Wyatt. Yeah, you bet. It's good to be here. Yeah, really happy we were able to speak and help get the word out on this because the Edmonton Police Service Recruiting Unit is coming to the Border City pretty soon here to offer a free career event. Now, I kind of wanted to start off with the easiest question with what's all involved in this event. Yeah, you bet. So it's a kind of a two-day event, February 24th, 25th. So the Friday night, February 24th, we're running an information session from 6 to 8 p.m. that night at Lakeland College. Um, basically, information session. We go over everything from the recruitment process to what you can expect in the first five years of being a police officer in Edmonton, the city of Edmonton itself, salaries, benefit structure, all that kind of stuff in that session. So, And then it's available for any questions people have to, at that point as well. Now, are there going to be other surrounding areas that the uh, Edmonton Police Service is offering this? Or why also did you choose Lloyd Minster to be offering this free session and whatnot? Yeah, we, we are doing a tour kind of of Alberta, as well as reaching out to other provinces. We're just extending our hiring reach at this point. We are looking to hire uh, three classes of 40 new recruits for this year and probably next year and the year after that. Um, so we're looking just to expand our hiring reach to, uh, you know, the surrounding the rest of the province and the surrounding area, the nation as well. Yeah. So there's an info session on Friday and then an entrance exam Saturday. Now, what can, uh, yeah, what can people expect when it comes to that on Saturday? Saturday. So it's a 120 uh, question multiple choice exam. Okay. Two hours and 15 minutes to write it. Um, it covers everything from memory to grammar, basic math, decision making, disguises, stuff like that. Stuff that is a uh kind of a, a necessary for a career in policing and it's also a standardized exam so every any any municipal agency in alberta writes the same exam and i know for some people that are interested in this career choice one of the biggest worries for them is the physical aspect of things so does the police service offer anything to help with people worried on that physical aspect and when it comes to the exam and how to kind of prepare them that's right yeah we do offer uh we call them run with recruiter events so Monday evenings, Thursday mornings, we run op uh, sessions open to the public where they come out. We run them through a little bit of a workout, kind of body weight, cardio type stuff, um, kind of exercises that you will see once you get into recruit class and kind of beyond. Um, but it's also an opportunity at those events to talk to other recruiters, talk to other people that are in the process. Some We have people that are hired from other cl the upcoming classes that come to these. So you can just network and kind of, you know, have some fun and, and learn kind of what the fitness component of this is. Perfect, perfect. Now, for people interested, where can they uh, kind of go online to be able to find more information and kind of sign up for this? Yeah, you bet. JoinEPS.ca is kind of the best place to go. Uh, right on that website, the main page there, there's a link for our Lloyd Minster information session in AppCat writing. Click on that link. You'll get directed to a it's email registration. You'll get elected to a link that you can email. Email me. I'll get back to you with all the inform information that you need for that upcoming session. We'll get you signed up. Perfect, Wyatt. Well, I'm really glad we are able to speak and help get the word out ahead of time for uh, the 24th, 25th. That's going to be coming up next week, just for anybody interested here in the Border City for this career choice. So once again, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.